It bears repeating. Don't drink and drive. A man in Taipei got behind the wheel while under the influence and ended up flying his car right off an expressway to disastrous consequences. According to Apple Daily, the accident happened just before 7 a.m. on March 24th. The driver, surnamed Chen, was on his way home after driving his girlfriend to work. While on the elevated number 65 highway in New Taipei City, Chen lost control of his white SUV. The vehicle swerved and hit a streetlight pole before launching over the guardrail. It fell over five stories off the edge before crashing onto the embankment of a concrete skating rink in the park below. The 36-year-old was still breathing when rescuers pulled him out of the mangled wreckage. He was rushed to the hospital but ultimately died. Blood drawn from the hospital later revealed that Chen had been driving while totally sloshed with his blood alcohol at 1.2 milligrams per liter. The legal limit in Taiwan is 0.15. His girlfriend told the cops she didn't notice anything odd or smell any alcohol while he was driving her, but did admit that the two of them had a little drink the night before. According to Apple Daily, some have questioned whether the guardrail on the expressway had been too low, but police say even a higher guardrail doesn't stand a chance against a car ramming it at full speed. What people should really take away from this is that cars and booze are a bad mix.